Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after finally getting to tussle with some necro savants, and it turns out that they're basically vampires. In any case, we now have a mission to patrol for House Eisenstein, so let's head up north to Bolarsby, and maybe we can come upon some brigands or... what was it? Barbarians, yes, that's it. <laughs> Sorry, two words starting with B. Obviously the same thing. Oh! Yes, barbarians. Hmm, can we fight them outside of the hills, though? I don't know if it's really doable. Um, you know what? Just go for it, I'd say. Sure. Some gentle hills, hopefully? Not mountainous terrain? Hmm, you know what? I'll take it, I guess. Sure. Um, though we might want to advance ever so slightly. Yeah. Uh, these guys are all going to want to go south. So maybe we can kind of steer them into that direction. And the drummer. I think I might actually want to keep the drummer alive. Because I don't want these guys to book it, right? Yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. Sir, with the uh, javelins, please stop. As in stop living. Stop existing altogether. Thank you very much. Wow. Aw, oh, man, that was so close to like a perfect streak. Come on! Unbelievable. <laughs> Who was it that missed? Herbert, was it you? Ah, uh, of course it was Herbert. Who else would it be, right? Hmm, let's advance by one. Hmm, Oswald. I don't know if that's the best location. Tree, get out of my face, please. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Hmm, Rainbow, move up. And... Sovix, I'd like you to stay here. Oh, that guy's trying to circle around us. Pennsylvanian. Mm, advance. And Meteor Ogre. I guess I'm kind of okay with you being there. And Kondar. Advance. Sure. Hmm. I think we should be alright, hopefully. We might want to move our... Frontline dudes a bit more, or backline dudes a bit more too. Mm, Gerlock. I think he could probably stay with Sovix, since he's not the beefiest of our dudes. Oh, I see. Well, if he wants to fight us, then he's gonna have to come down to our level. Fantastic. Good job, Oswald. Now Rainbow's kind of useless, unless he wants to chop down that tree, I guess. You know what? Then go there. That'll be fine. Sovix. Stay put, because I don't want you to get uh, attacked by these dudes. Sure. Transylvanian. Hmm. I guess you should do something. Yeah. And you're fine. Whoa! Nice! <laughs> Fantastic. All right, sirs. Quit harassing our dudes, please. Oswald, stop freaking out, man. Anytime anything ever happens, he's always just freaking out. Come on. Really? Really? That is some truly piss poor performance. Hmm, I'd say go after this dude. Or the guy in front of him. You know, whichever I guess. Gerlock. Atta boy. Not getting the uh, jump on us today. No siree. Ondar, I'd say try to finish him off. Fantastic, and continue on with this guy. He's almost dead, folks. Almost dead. Transylvanian. Go for it. Oswald, can you please stun? Nice. Stun him too? Ah, so close, man. So close. Let's finish him off. Fantastic. And who's up next? Sure. Why don't you just step over your dead friend's body? Or maybe you don't care because you're an asshole. Or maybe it's their culture. Maybe he's actually respecting his uh, friend by standing atop his dead body to... um you know, inflict pain on their enemies or whatever. I guess that's a good culture. Sure. Did he try to escape? I don't quite understand what it, what they're trying to do here. Uh-oh. Concerning. Thank you. Uh, Norman, you can't fancy footwork your way out of there, so... I guess we'll just have to rely on these guys then. Nice. Fantastic. Go for the drummer next. Mm, finish him off. And let's start plonking away at this dude. Oh, shit. 
I guess we might as well free up Transylvanian for bigger and better targets. Yeah, there we go. Getting that guy killed. Let's try to circle around back in case he tries to, like, book it on out of here. Mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. Thank you. Fuck yes. Getting that money, honey. Can we stun him? That's right. Just keep these guys perpetually stunned. Oh, Meteor Ogre. What's the matter with you? Damn it. Guys, come on. Put your backs into it. None of this piss poor performance, please. The fuck? What the fuck? Wait, what? What is that? Peter Gang Ganger, Barbarian Reaver. Wait, is there a Necrosavant in here? Because we that happened the last time we were fighting the Necrosavant and whatnot. One, two, three, four, five. Um. So either this one's not counted, and there is a Necrosavant just hanging out back, or maybe this is some kind of like barbarian magic that we've never seen before. Hmm. Or maybe it's because the um, undead uprising is approaching. Huh. Interesting. If that's true, that's actually pretty cool. Terrifying, but pretty cool. I mean, I guess the Vedergangers aren't super, super, um, you know, the worst enemies ever. But I'd say that definitely kind of like, that was my uh, plan for a loop. That being said, I mean, <laughs> I don't really have much in the ways of planning. <laughs> it's usually just, um, you know, go there, attack this guy, and hope for the best. Rather than uh, stop and think and um, spend some time analyzing my strategy. Which is kind of not really my playthrough, a play style, I guess. Thank you. And Philman. No? Okay. Does anyone have any uh, actions left? Besides Sovix and Gerlach, who can't move. Ondar, you're good? Mm, Philman and Oswald should be fine. Yeah, this guy can't book it. Huh. Right. Yeah, since the uh, Undead Uprising is the last uh, late game crisis that remains, I suppose this kind of makes sense. Alright, sure. I'll accept it. Finish him off. Thank you. And now our dude's stunned. Come on, Oswald. What's the matter with you? Fuck. What? Are they out of ammunition? Hmm. No, no, don't do that. Transylvanian, finish him off. What the fuck, guys? Come on. Thank you, my goodness. Alright, um... It's a shame there's no button that I can click on to, um... Toggle on, like, oh. Just repair everything that, uh, that we pick up. Oh, well. That's fine. Uh, let's get this shit repaired. Thank you. And I think that's good. Oh. Oops. That too. There we go. Alright, folks, back up to Bolarsby, or back on our way up to Bolarsby. Sell price is not great. Buy price is terrible. Priming Vault is actually pretty good for buying and selling. Otherwise, what else? Priming Home, not so great for buying. Decent for selling. Mm, and Overstead, not so great for either. Ish. Alright, well, that's fine. Since we don't... I guess we might as well check out the uh, people that we can recruit here. Nope. That was a waste of everyone's time. Fantastic. And they are just... <sighs> price gouging. Fine. You know what? You gotta make a living somehow, right? Primingvold? Be prepared to be, um... To become safe again. That's right. And I believe the buy prices here are fairly decent, so let's stock up. Fantastic. Except for the bread. The tools are definitely some of the uh, better prices I've seen in a while. And any armor to buy? Uh, let's get the noble mail, and then we'll get the additional stuff. You know what? Sure. And we'll get the black paint too. I think I'll just have all of our dudes have uh, black helmets if we can. Oh shit, I forgot to check their, um, what's higher? Bertolf? Clumsy, Spartan, and otherwise not great. Werner? Swift? 
and not great. Awesome. Thanks for uh, thanks for wasting my time there, guys. All right, so to whom shall I give the noble male? I think Zeister is one of our more um, one of our better archers, right? So let's give it to him. Noble male, and what additional thing should I give him? Hmm. Hmm. So what's his armor fatigue at now? It is 19. Right, so this allows up to how much again? 15. I see. Well then, let's just go for the leather neck guard. I mean, you might try a noble mail with the um, metal plates and rivets in the future, but for now, I think this is fine. Sure. And up to Briming Holm. Even though we don't need to, we might as well check it out and see what we can get. Hopefully they've got some... Ooh! Thralls, Reavers, a Drummer, and a few Warhounds. I guess we might as well tussle with these dudes. Go for it. Can we not fight you in the woods, please, though? Can I maybe corral you out of here? Come on, dudes. There you go. No! You're still in the woods, you numb nuts. Get out of here! Uh, it's nighttime, though. Ah, fuck. Fine, we'll follow these assholes around until it's not nighttime. Unbelievable. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, uh, you seen the? You seen any uh, movies lately? Anything good? Anything worth mentioning? Um, I heard the new Terminator is not so good. I mean, I've heard some mixed reviews. So, <laughs> hey, there we go. It's dawn time now. Let's do this. Wait, is this the hills? This better not be the hills. It is not the hills. Fantastic. All right, Reavers, Thralls, please approach. And the dog's heads do count, yes? So, 16. I think last group we killed was... 12. Mm, so, essentially, we should end up with 28. That's the case. Why the fuck does that keep flashing? Come on, guys. What the fuck is going on? So bizarre. Is that part of the Undead Uprising? Where it makes my thing flicker? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. That guy's not really wearing... Uh, he's not using any ranged weapons, but I guess we might as well. Yeah, get rid of the uh, dudes with the shirts. Maybe we can make them waver and whatnot. Which will, of course, their uh, melee capabilities. Or rather, their melee defense, I think. Right. Drummer, maybe we'll leave till later. Mm, Oswald, you're fine. I guess we might as well shield ball the ones who can. And maybe indomitable for the ones that can't. Yeah, you're not gonna waste that Transylvanian bone plating with that fucking garbage biting crap. Okay. Uh oh. Slight issue for our back row. But hopefully we'll be all right. Knock on wood. Mm, go for this guy. Unfucking believable. Good grief. Mm, and this guy's being an issue for sure. All right, dudes. <sighs> At least you hit someone. Good grief. Finish him off. Fuck. Thank you. Almost dead. Fantastic. And go for this guy next. Oh shit, he still has another turn. My bad. Let's see if we can stun one of these bastards. Stun the other bastard too? Fuck yes. Don't worry about the uh, stun guy right now. Finish him off. I swear, my thing keeps flickering. And let's try to uh, cut him off at the pass. Transylvanian. Kill that guy. Yeah, the Warhound's not really a huge issue, but at the same time, they do... Um, Give the enemy that uh, surrounding bonus, right? So, yeah. Uh, let's go after the dog. And then I guess we should start killing the, um, uh, what's it? That guy in case he decides to bugger off, which he appears to be doing now. Nice. Transylvanian's bone plating coming in handy there. All right, sir. GTFO my face. Thank you. Transylvanian. Sorry, not Transylvanian. This is Norman. Mm. 
go for it. Nice. Actually hit him too. Hmm. I guess go for this guy. He's an easier hit. Hmm. Sure. Nice. And work on this asshole. Solvix, finish him? Atta boy. Go for it. Pass facts. Annihilate. Nope. Okay. Didn't really feel like the annihilation today. Gotcha. Understood. Meteor Ogre. Fuck yes. I love it when Meteor Ogre kills. It's a sight to behold. Sherlock, please move up. Let's just really hope that the uh, Barbarian Drummer doesn't get away after all this. Nice. We seem to be getting through these guys like uh, hot butter through knife. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, I see. So they recognize that their former uh, allies uh, are a threat. Good. I was kind of worried that they might ignore these dudes or whatever, but I guess not. Uh, is there a way for us to catch up to that guy? I don't think there is, unfortunately. Hmm. Whoa, holy shit. And then there was one. So, I think Oswald's the only one with a dog. Yeah, which might mean that we probably won't be able to catch up to him. But unleash your dog. Ah, so close. So close, but so far. Maybe we can get lucky, though. Unless, of course, these fucking zombies come up to uh, bite us in the uh, nutsack. Which I'm really hoping doesn't happen. Mm. You know what? We'll just let him go, because it seemed like maybe a zombie was coming up. Sure. Whatever. Fucking bastard. So, that should be at least 15 more kills. I don't think it counted the dogs. No, what the fuck? Really? It doesn't count the dogs? Ugh. Unbelievable. Fine. I guess we'll have to kill uh, 11 more dudes then. Jeez. Wasting my time. Like it's not valuable. Alright. So these guys in reserve are getting a little upset and shit, so I guess we'll let them have their fun. Sure. Uh, Oswald, switch up with Electro the Slam Cannon. Halstein, fuck you. Gunner. Mm, maybe we'll switch you up with Transylvanian. Niels, you can switch out with Meteor Ogre. And Nut, you can switch out with... Mm, I guess Sovix is the farthest away from leveling up. Okay, so I think we were heading up to Brimingholm, yes? Or wait, were we going up or going down? I think we were going up. Don't know if we've been here recently. Do you have a whip? You have zero whips. Seriously. What is this weird alternate universe that we're living in where it seems that, um, what, were whips um, considered to be cruel and unusual and in indiscriminate uh, weapons of war? And so they were banned by a um, uh, recent Geneva Convention or something? I don't understand. Anyone to hire? Goswin. Nope. Guntbert the Witch Hunter. Climb out. Hockey. Five resolve, negative five melee defense and range defense. Brute, 15% damage on hit to a head. So that's melee, right? But reduces melee skill. Otherwise, could actually be a really good sergeant. Hmm. But he wouldn't really be able to hit much. And he'd be somewhat squishy too. But I guess that's kind of like a secondary um, thing for sergeants. So, uh, that being said, I kind of rely on... Um, on uh, Gerlock to kind of hold up the back row a little bit, so I don't know. I'm a little torn, but I'm leading towards a no. We have a Sally Helm. I don't know if the price is the best. Huh. Maybe when we're a little richer, because we're actually getting close to being um, below 10,000 buccaronis, which is a big, big no no. Well, at least for me, in any case. All right, so let's head out to Overstead. I think what we'll do is we'll go to Overstead and then Heimstadt and then circle around here. Maybe take out some more um, camps and whatnot. And whoa, 
Fang and Coin. Employed by Overstead. Yeah, let's not fight those dudes. We're good, thanks. Hmm. Overstead, what do you got for me? Hopefully something good. Maybe a whip? No whips. Can't believe I held my breath for that. What the fuck is this? Ultra items by type. Huh? When did this appear? The fuck? Was that always there? I think that was always there, but I just completely uh, did not notice it. Which is um, par for the course. Why don't you booze up a little bit more? Mm, marketplace. Haven't checked it out, but not sure if it's really worth it. I mean, we are somewhat running low on tools. Mm, let's wait until we can find better prices. Yeah, anyone to hire though. I think we've actually been here recently, but maybe not. All right, then let's bugger off. Get on out of here. Down to Heimstadt, and hopefully there might be some easier barbarian camps around these places. Like that one that's like negative. Whoa, what's this? 13 barbarians. Hmm. Actually, assuming that there's the max number of... No, I'm pretty sure we might get up to like maybe close to almost all of it, but probably not all of it. Alright, so let's corral these guys out of here, because we don't really want to fight them at night. And once they're on flatter ground, we'll go ahead and tussle with their buttholes in the least sexual of ways. Alright folks, go for it. Let's hit them up. Nice. Out in the plains. In the snowy plains, we'll see your blood freeze, bitch. So let's see. 13 dudes, 3 of them are dogs. Really? So we'll have one uh, lacking, one head missing. Damn it. That's annoying. Very annoying. Hmm. So that one drummer that got away. Oh man. Really? <laughs> I can't believe that one drummer that got away is gonna be the uh, last head that we kind of needed. Shit. Oh well. Are you fucking serious? What is this shitty-ass performance, guys? Holy crap, that was terrible. Wow. I'm pretty sure the majority of you assholes had like above 60% chances to hit. And this is the garbage that you're foisting on me? Jeez. Well, you better make sure that um, our new guy doesn't die. Gunner. And I forgot to name him. Oops, my bad. I'll do that after this fight. Assuming I can remember. Which might not actually happen. What are you guys doing? <laughs> this looks like a band of, like a boy band that's about to um, drop some uh, hot licks or whatever. Obviously, the terminology that um, boy bands use. Even though hot licks are, I believe, used to describe um, guitar stuff. Or at least in instrumental stuff. Go for the Weaver. He's a bigger danger for sure. Finish him off. Your lead singer is dead, so Merry Christmas. Mm, let's go for this guy. Thank you for at least getting one hit. Good grief. Alright, go for this asshole. Niels? Mm, I'd say sure. Kill the dog. And I could have you move back, but nah, that's fine. Kondar? a boy. Electro, uh, just hang back. Gunner, mm, you're gonna need some adult supervision. So maybe go down south. Rainbow, I take another shield ball. Nut, no? What the fuck, nut? What the fuck? What an asshole, this nut. Hmm. Hey, these assholes better not run away. Thank you. And Norman can't do shit. Right, because this is still the uh, same same round. Gotcha. Uh, Electro, let's put up your shield. You're fine. Gunner, I suppose I'm okay with you getting over this way. Mm, Rainbow, you're fine. And Nut, you're fine. Alright, sirs. Approach and receive your death. Please and thank you. Stop trying to circle around. It's not going to work. 
I mean, it might, but I'm hoping that it doesn't work. Yeah, see that? I told you. I told you it ain't gonna work. You assholes never listen to me. Look at that. This guy's now being punished for his stupid ways. Let's see if maybe we can kill this. Mm, I guess the Reaver is more important, so sure. I bet he's uh, bitterly regretting this experience. Yeah. What the fuck, Niels? I bitterly regret to bringing you on. <laughs> can you get a kill? Almost. Mm, Zeister. Finish him off. Thank you. And start working on this guy again. Nice. He ain't getting shit. I'll leave um, Gunner to take care of that guy. Come on, guys. Come on. Thank you. Mm, and Gerlock. Can't do shit. Alright, let's hope we don't get thrashed too um, powerfully. Fuck. Uh oh. Well, that's probably his uh, last hit on Gunner, so we should be okay. Atta boy. It's a shame that we probably don't get extra heads for uh, killing the zombies. But, oh well. I suppose that's fine. Go for it. Come on, finish him off. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Electro? No? Okay. Hondar, hold up. Let Gunner finish him. Wow. I gave you a fucking chance, you numb nuts. And that's how you repay me? With shitty crap? Jeez. Please don't tell me we have to have another round to finish this guy off. Fuck, we do. That might that means that uh, maybe more undead will appear. Or fuck. It's over. Wait. So that guy was considered running away. Hmm. Yeah, we're missing one head. All right, unfortunate, but you know what? I suppose that's fine. Hmm, let's get this shit repaired and sold. What's the sell price in Dinkle's Mark right now? 2.2. .2. All right, since we're close, we might as well head down there. Have I been time shot recently? Hmm, prices are too much. Don't bother. Wait, anyone to hire? I should check. And I've checked the, uh... Yeah, Dawnbird the Odd. Seems to be wearing some interesting stuff, though. But otherwise... Nah, it's fine. Right, folks. Let's go to Dinkle's Mark. Maybe we can find, like, a... Group of, like... A few Unholds? Or these dudes, I guess. I don't really want to tussle with them, though. They should be fairly easy to kill, but... Nah, it's fine. One head's not gonna make that much of a difference. 137 uh, buccaronis. Mmm, a lot of noxers. But, uh, probably not worth the fight. Really? It's nighttime? Uh... You put your head down for a nap. A silky bed sheet slides off your body as you roll to a side. Birds flutter past a sleek, ivory-framed window. A voice pours into your ear, a hint of an aroma you've never smelled before gracing you. You're awake. A woman rolls herself over, running a finger down your chest before going back up and seizing your chin. Lithe, pretty, the sun glowing across her smooth face and lighting up a set of emerald eyes. She goes for a kiss. You quickly slide out of bed and frantically look around. She grips the sheets and comes to her knees, confused. What's wrong? Where are you going, my emperor? Looking up, you see a ceiling that stretches so far up you can hardly even see the artwork, which has been exquisitely embroidered there. You open a door and step out onto a balcony. Impossibly tall buildings, red, white, gold banners, a horizon steepled with black shapes stretching as far as the eye wishes to see, domes, fountains, great arches, statues that stand so tall that they seem to be commanding the structures as soldiers. Atop each roof is a garden greater and more flush than anything you've ever seen seen in the eternal springs of nature itself. Suddenly, two men emerges at your two men emerge at your sides with cages of doves and let them out. The birds desperately scatter and just then a roar erupts beneath you, great crowds of people jumping and waving banners around. They love their emperor. The woman speaks from the doorway. Go to them. You look down to see a stream of soldiers marching down the middle of the road. 
each man stepping in unison with his brother, a steady staccato clap of boots, their faces stern in their gilded helms, long pole arms glistening upward as though they meant to defeat their enemies with opulence itself. They are going off to war to face the great beyond and to defeat it. The woman is at your side. She smiles warmly, taking you by the arm. You feel ready to agree to it, to it, to this new reality, whatever it be. You take her by the cheek, ready to fall into her embrace, but a cry from below wails loud and clear over all else. You glance down to see the soldiers, once joined in perfect uniformity, breaking rank. In the distance, a great mountain is erupting, jetting great bursts of red fire and an enormous cloud of hot ash, which quickly pools into the city. Buildings disintegrate, gardens burst into, into flames, and the people, the people scream. They turn away, but there is no escaping the heat. The soldiers collapse and scream, the, and surging, a surging, searing heat, and soon enough, you see the denizens melting in it, the soldiers becoming melt, metal golems singed into the very armor, which was meant to protect them, and the unarmored crowd simply burst aflame. The woman cries at your side, Oh, it's horrible, horrible, would you look at it? But it's okay, understand? It's perfectly okay. Look at me, look at me, I'm the captain now. The woman grabs you and spins you. Her once soft features have hardened into blackened flakes, the top of her head already burnt bald, her teeth falling out of dripping gums. Yet she's grinning. We'll rise again, Emperor. We shall rise again. I don't think she was grinning. I think it was a um, rictus. Like her, you know, like a skull. Like her face was like melting off or whatever. In any case, um, her skull breaks apart and her body collapses into a pile of burning bones. You jerk away to find, you jerk away to find Oswald shaking you. Sir, wake up. We've got a group of refugees here saying that the dead are rising from the earth and killing everything in sight. The woman's f uh, face flashes before your eyes. It is horrifically scarred, but it doesn't stop her from grinning. The Empire rises. Whoa, okay. I gotta say, out of all the uh, late game crises, um, the, I guess, flavor text for this one is probably my favorite so far. Well, I say so far, but this is the last one that we have to experience, so... Yeah. So I guess the emperor that uh, the empire that existed here before was kind of like Roman. At least it seems Roman, judging by the um, picture here. And this sounds a lot like uh, what happened with Pompey and uh, Mount Vesuvius. And also, us dreaming about being an emperor. I did uh, theorize that perhaps the main character or the leader of the war band, as it were. Um, may have been an emperor in a past life. Because I think we've had other missions involving the undead where they pointed at the main character and said, you returned, or something to, to that effect. So I kind of get that feeling there. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, well, let's... Uh, during a short rest, your men managed to catch a man that tried to make off with some of your supplies. His clothes are but rags, and he looks like more skeleton than man he's undead what are you going to do with him give that poor guy some food and water give him a good beating put him to sword uh let's give him some food and water feeling bad for the feeble man you decide to give him some water and food he almost snatches the meal away from you and drives his famished face into it the thief thanks you if, uh, between every bite and they lose some mushrooms not everyone will be this lenient you tell the man to get back to marching you tell the men to get back to marching. The thief wipes his mouth and stands up, wobbling as his weak legs take a few steps after you. He asks if maybe he could join the company. He'll give you his life, if he must. Just anything not to not have to steal anymore. Hmm. Should we? I guess we might as well check him out. Fine, you might as well join us. Alright, so let's see this guy. Uh, Let's see. Who is he? Detailm, the refugee, range defense, and tiny. Got a lot of initiative. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know if he's really going to make much of a uh, anything. I guess we can keep him around to see how he performs, but if he dies, then so be it, right? Oh, also, I forgot to rename uh, Gunner. Let's get you leveled up. Mm, some more fatigue. And obviously some more range defense. And you are... Let's see here. Marios 
Alien. Fantastic. So this guy, I'm not quite sure. We might uh, rename him later um, if he prove himself. But for now, we'll just leave him as is. And I think I also forgot to try out the uh, paint set. Mm, not can I paint your uh, legendary shield? Is that possible? I don't think we can. No? Okay, fine. Then maybe we'll try to paint Rainbow the Averages? He's not a shield expert, is he? No. Then let's go for Sovix the Shrubber. Hey, hey! Ha, <laughs> nice! Colorful band. Very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And let's paint your helmets too. Uh, do we want to keep the closed flat top helmet or not? I don't know. Hmm. I might not actually paint anyone's thing. No. Maybe... Well, I mean, paint's easy to come by, right? So, sure. Let's do it up. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so... Um, let me quickly just sell some stuff in Dinkle's Mark before we end the episode so you can see how much money we end up with. And I'll sell this garbage. Thank you. And hopefully the prices here are decent. Heavy javelins. Interesting. I guess we'll keep them. Sell that crap. Sell that crap. We don't need any of this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Sell that crap. Mm, sell the ancient spear. What else we got? Yeah. That crap needs to go. Get on out of here. Fantastic. Uh, is that everything? Almost. Some of the barbarian gear is just garbage still. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, well, with that, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and finish off our mission. Uh, patrol mission. And I noticed there was another two skull mission here. So we'll probably check that out or something. We'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.